How about gold leaf, craft punches, and fondant rosettes? I've got a cake that incorporates all three beautifully. So we're going to mark our cake to help us place our rosettes evenly and symmetrically. But before we do that, we have to kind of figure out what size we want them to be and how many are gonna go around the cake. And then I would let this sit for five, seven, 10 minutes and let it firm up a little bit before I cut my strips and ruffle them because it's just too soft right now. It's gonna tear and just distort. And you also don't have to paint every single portion of the edge. This portion of this ruffle is really stuck to the cake. If I try to go in there and paint that, I'm gonna get the gold on the cake and it's just gonna be a big mess. Cornstarch in there well so it doesn't stick. And we're gonna place it in there so it'll have just a little bit of a curve so that when we put it on the edge of the cake, it's going to curve up and sit nicely. So I've got my strip here. Like I said, it's very flexible, very sturdy. I'm gonna use my trusty shortening as my glue. That way I don't have to worry about sticky mess from piping gel or water. Gorgeous.